What's up gamers, Mass Gamer here today to bring you another Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gun review and I would like to just say welcome to hell. Today we are going to be talking about the PM9 submachine gun. First we're going to go ahead and do a spray comparison. First it's going to be with no attachments or proficiencies. This is hip fire and as you can see it's all over the place. It uh, shoots pretty quick but it's all over the place and then aiming down the sight whoa where's it going nobody knows let's give me another one whoa oh my gosh where's that aiming no idea don't even try aiming down the sight with this weapon it's completely pointless and is not going to help you with anything now we're going to go ahead and add on uh, rapid fire and range oh there you go some more crazy spray while you're uh, hip firing this is a crazy ridiculous weapon oh look at that all over the place it's kicking all over the place sputtering all over the place Thing is absolutely terrible when it comes to any type of accuracy or reliability. Um, I would have to say it's the absolute worst SMG. Um, it's a close close tie for being worst, but if I had to choose either the MP5 or this one, I would uh, definitely choose the MP5 because at least you have some kind of fighting chance. So um, here's a gameplay. We're gonna go ahead and do a team death match, um, and I'm gonna be using the PM9. Now the PM9 is a unique weapon. The reasons it's unique, the reason it's unique is that the aiming down the sight does not even increase the accuracy at all. It actually makes the weapon worse. Um, so typically the accuracy is supposed to be improved when you're aiming down the sight, but with this weapon, that is not the case. This is an extremely lightweight weapon. Um, most of the uh, secondary machine pistols are better than this weapon. Um, hands down, I would rather take FMGs or an MP9 over this weapon. Um, but you'll see I don't aim down the sight at all uh, because really, uh, I'm being serious, it's completely pointless to do. Um, the attachments and the proficiency is like all the other weapons. I use uh, range and rapid fire on this weapon. If you don't have it, you're, you're really just fighting a losing battle. Oh, look at that small kill. That, was, that guy was pissed off, and you got to know he was angry about that crap. Um, but anyways, you'll see I do a lot of dropping, a lot of jumping around, all that good stuff to, to give me a better, better uh, chance of scaring my opponents into dying because the bullets don't do a whole lot with this weapon. And, uh, and uh, yeah, you can just see the accuracy is just completely, horribly unreliable. Now for the ratings, I rate everything in four different categories. The first one is power. That's how much damage a weapon uh, a specific weapon dulls out. The next one is accuracy and reliability. That is how accurate and how reliable this weapon is going to be in a firefight. Then the movement. How much is a weapon going to bog you down? How much is it going to weigh you down while you're running across the map? And then first strike. Are you going to have the opportunity to uh, beat somebody when you come toe to toe with them? Um, with this weapon, I have rated the power a 2. And that is because it's extremely weak. Um, the only real way to get kills with this is to be right in someone's face and hopefully they suck at aiming. The next one is going to be the accuracy and reliability. This is hands down the most inaccurate, unreliable weapon um, in the game for the most part. Um, and I rate it a 1. Oh, that's cold. But, but, but Mass Gamer, how, how are you going to rate it a 1? It's at least a 2. No, it's a 1. This gun sucks. It's terrible. And then... The movement, this is the only redeeming factor, is that it's lightweight, but it doesn't really matter if it's lightweight or not. If you Look at this, I'm playing chicken with the Reaper, you see him, he's trying to get me on both sides. Oh, no, oh, oh, not getting me, not getting me. So, anyways, uh, the movement, it gets a four because obviously it's super lightweight, you can run and jump and all that, and uh, and in this, in this gameplay, my... Uh, my sentry gun does all kinds of beasting for me and, and uh, helps me get to a reaper, so... Uh, oh, airspace is too crowded. Look at that reaper still trying to get me. Oh, he finally got me after all that. So that would put us overall at a 9 out of 20, making it the worst SMG. Um, slightly followed up just behind that is the MP5, so... If you're looking to get any type of kills or increased kill death ratio, um, do not use either of these weapons. But if you want a challenge like I like to do, and you're a glutton of punishment like I am, I suggest not using them. But um, 
you know, it is what it is. So I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, start working on my 2,500 kills with this weapon so I can get the uh, the titles and emblems with it. I'm, uh, I don't know, about 500 kills right now with this weapon. 500 miserable and painless kills with this weapon. Or, I'm sorry, painful kills with this weapon. Um, so for the game types for this, this weapon, I suggest you don't use any game type with this weapon because you're just going to lose and die a whole lot. Um, it's not really good for anything. Maybe a little bit of free-for-all just because, you know, um, you're not fighting against more than one enemy for the majority of the time when you're playing free-for-all. Um, but yeah, I would suggest not using it at all because it's miserable and horrible and it's uh, not even really fun. Um, player skill, I would say for you to get a, a positive kill-death ratio with this weapon, you need to be a good or an average to good player. A beginner should not ever use this weapon because they will just quit playing Modern Warfare 3. Um, and the player types. Aggressive is a player that is going to be running out to the, uh, the the front of the map, always rushing against the enemy, always going out to uh, uh, be the first one. Look at this. All those guys, and then I get killed from the side. All four of those guys in front of me couldn't kill me, and I got killed from the side. That was ridiculous. Um, anyways, and then the uh, moderate player, kind of the middle player, middle of the map player, stick and move, uh, take cover for a little bit, move to the next piece of cover. And then there is a defensive player where they're kind of camping. Well, uh, neither of these, none of these um, player types work with this weapon, so I actually created a third, and that is a Sneeko Campalopolis, and um, that's the, the player type you're going to need to be with this one. And that's basically where you uh, kind of camp around corners, hopefully people will run in front of you, um, always have assassin on so you can hopefully sneak up behind people with this weapon. Um, you just have to play as dirty as you possibly can and do what you need to do to be able to to actually get some kills with this weapon. So I use a little bit different class setup with this one. I use Slide of Hand, Assassin, and instead of Stalker I use Steady Aim because you'll see I never aim down the sight with this weapon. It is strictly a hip fire weapon. Um, so you have to be good at hip firing. You have to be able to, you know, aim with a little bit larger of a crosshair and not have the assistance of the iron sights with this weapon if you're going to do anything. So. To recap this weapon, number one, it's garbage. Number two, it's crap. Um, number three, it sucks. Number four, it really sucks. Number five, don't use it. And uh, for closing comments and tips, um, the best tips I can do to give you that, that will make this weapon efficient is to not use it at all. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoy our videos. Hope you enjoy the reviews. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this gameplay. It put up a pretty decent kill-death ratio for using one of the worst weapons in the game. So uh, sub if you like, and like if you sub. And until next time, Mass Gamer is out.